Yeah, here we are in downtown Bowling Green. Give you guys a little panoramic view for all around view. Right here. There's the Clausel. It used to be like a movie theater, but I guess they changed it over to like a thing where bands can go play. Uh, apparently there's a bar there too and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, this is basically like the downtown section with a lot of bars. Uh, it just came out of it just came out of Finders. Oh, by the way, give a quick little look here at the sign so you guys uh, know what to look for when you come here to BG. It's right here. Finders. Oh, they're also online. I'll put the link up on the sidebar. I think it's like Finders.com or Finders Music Store or something.com. So, oh um, yeah. I missed BG so much. I'm so glad I'm back, even though I'm going to be leaving very soon. Uh, yeah, this is great. Here's another look. I'm going down uh, Wooster Street right now. Let's see. That's another bar, Reverend's Bar and Grill. Next to that is the uh, Bowling Green Music Store. If you can still hear me, it's pretty loud out here. Um, let's see, there's the music store. And next to that is some kind of clothing apparel. Apparently there's a lot of them around here. So yeah, I loved the music store. It's closed right now. I, I would go in, but I would go in, but it's closed. So yeah. Let's see, next place we're gonna go to is uh, Miles Dairy Queen. Which, uh, I worked there for a good three months, and uh, just gonna go there, show you guys the menu board, and uh, you know meet some of my old coworkers, and uh, I'll just get something simple like an ice cream cone. So yeah, see you there. So yeah, here we are at uh, Miles Dairy Queen. I had some fucking asshole from New Jersey. He he, he like pulled in. And he, like, stopped as soon as he pulled in. So he was, like, blocking my fucking way to get in. And some guy was turning left to get out of there. So I couldn't fucking move. Thankfully, I wasn't in the middle of the road. Fucking Jersey asshole. Yeah, no offense to my New Jersey readers, but god damn. Such ignorance. But enough about that. We're parked. We're good. Okay. Now, um, as you probably heard online, Miles Dairy Queen is significantly different than uh, all the other Dairy Queens. Now, if you're looking up this, the find this place on Google Maps and you're looking for like the standard Dairy Queen sign, you won't find it. It baffled me to, you know, try to find this damn place when I was just looking up on Google online because I couldn't find it. So, I'll give you a look at the sign. There it is way up there. Let's zoom in on that. Okay. See, it says Miles Dairy Queen. Like footlongs, hamburgers, Baker Street not open. I don't. Whoa. Yeah, I don't get the whole Baker Street thing. So, um, yeah. Let's go inside and get us a cone. Hi. Yeah. All right. Medium Butterfinger Blizzard. Great. Right. Cinnamon. Three fifty-five. What is up, Rob? What are you taking pictures of? The board. There you go. Yeah. Why? How are you name? Because I won't be here for long. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, I got myself a uh, a dollar Neapolitan cone. They don't normally do these just because you know sometimes they're a little busy. But since it's the fall season, they're uh, significantly slower. So check it out. How to make it with uh, the strawberry vanilla swirl with chocolate on top. And uh, I already bit into it, so <laughs> that's not the actual height, but for a dollar, it is a damn fine cone. And, uh, and uh, yeah, we have a, uh, a veritable shit ton of uh, different Blizzard flavors that you won't find here, or that you won't find at other Dairy Queens. Um, there's also a bottled soda like the old school uh, Coke and Pepsi. Um, there's also various different uh, crush bottle flavors. I'm talking like beyond 
you know, orange, strawberry, and grape. There's uh, like tropical punch, uh, pineapple, and uh, those are my two favorites. Oh, there's also peach, number one favorite. And uh, there's also different teas, uh, Jones soda, different flavors of Jones soda. They, uh, I don't know if they still have it, I can't see it, but they had this flavor called Jones Jumble. It was a limited edition flavor. And it, seriously, it tastes like liquid Skittles in the best possible way. Um, we also have s several energy drinks like uh, Balls, B-A-W-L-S, which uh, if you guys go on thinkgeek.com, you're definitely familiar with. They got the Blue Balls, which is like regular. Then they got Sugar Free, which is clear. Then they got Red Balls, which is uh, cherry flavored. Then they got the Geek Beer, which is a uh, cap, which is a uh, caffeinated root beer. And there's also like different teas and. Uh, uh, let's just uh, pan around to show you the place. See, that's where they keep it all and stuff like that. And it's an actual like sit-down restaurant. And uh, yeah, yeah. Despite my white balance, the seats are purple, not blue. So yeah. Um, I hope you, I hope I gave you guys a good look at the uh, the reader board. I I was just uh, trying to go over. So we have like a variable shit ton of flavors for blizzards and uh, the thing about the blizzards is instead of flattening them at the very top of the cup it actually goes over the cup so if you get a small blizzard you're essentially getting two small blizzards for the price of one and the price of one small blizzard is around 290 which is an insane deal if you go to Dairy Queen and know it you know what I'm talking about price wise and uh, oh there's my boss I'm just saying yeah, the ball guy right there, Chip Miles. He's been doing this for going on 40 years. So he knows his stuff, let me tell you. And he's definitely a very straightforward kind of guy, but one of the nicest men I've ever met. Very, definitely very straightforward. Doesn't like to mince words or anything like that. And uh, he was very understanding about me quitting. Um, I don't know if he felt sad or anything, but it's definitely very straightforward. So, um, yeah. So if you'll excuse me, I, I better start, stop, talk, stop talking and eat this ice cream cone before it melts all over the place. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, just uh, finished my ice cream cone. And uh, I tried to get some good shots of the menu board so you guys could kind of get an idea of stuff, but I apologize if they're a little blurry. Um, but yeah, on my way out, I got myself something special. I got myself the Jones uh, limited edition uh, Jones Jumble. Uh, even though they have one in blue, I decided to get the green one because that's the one I'm used to. Jones Jumble, mixed flavored soda. Um, it's really kind of kooky. And there's a limited run on this, and it is a glass bottle. Uh, it's not a, you know, metal bottle, because you can see, or maybe not, because of the glare, but there's a clear part right here where the glass is. So, um, yeah, Whew. it's been a rough day. But yeah, I'm going to go to uh, Walmart, um, get some uh, engine cleaner, or like some fuel injection cleaner so I can put in the car so that way it can uh, get the engine clean because apparently uh, I waited a little too long to get my oil changed which I got it changed uh, the other day so um, yeah just gonna do that and then I will see you guys in Salina so yeah it's it's been fun coming back up here to BG have a little look around and stuff and uh, yeah so uh, this is the Andy Son signing off for now Hope you guys enjoyed my little trip through BG as much as I did. And uh, don't forget to take care of yourselves and each other. See ya.